Good afternoon, YouTube. So real quick, I just want to let you guys know that in case you'll see me drop a video title update on my targeting or update on my grandma's targeting, and I'll explain to you guys why. Well, I don't need to explain. It's just as simple as reading the title and knowing what that video is going to be about. Me and my grandma are target individuals. In case you don't know what target individual is, it's people who are just simply targeted by higher ups, people who control this world. You know what I mean? Witches, warlocks, dark entities, and stuff like that. And yeah, I'll just drop videos titled Update on My Target. Like right now, I have some stuff to tell you about my grandmother and me. So I found out I was a target individual around, around eight to nine years ago, possibly 10. And when I found out I was a target individual, I was living at my dad's house. I got tired of the target I was getting there and I moved to my grandmother's house. But I moved to my grandmother's house, I noticed that she, well, what I thought was happening was she was noticing the targeting that I was getting, but it turns out that that's not the case, but she is also targeting the visual. I know this because I didn't know that while I was living with her, but I know this, I got to find this out when I moved out because she would still be complaining to the family about her being targeted, right? So right now, my grandma isn't even living in her house. You know what I mean? She's living with my aunt. And I explain to you guys why. So, after we moved, I was living with my grandmother, me, my mom, my sisters. You know, we were, it was a family house. We were all living together, right? And then, you know, one by one, we all moved out and we left her alone. Right? She also has a tenant. It's a big house. She also has a tenant. But he's blocked off in a whole different apartment that's connected to... I want to say apartment. It's a house. So, excuse me. Not really apartment, but the garage. There you go. So, he's... He's, like, living in the garage type of thing, right? So, when we moved out, we left her alone. And then she'll be, you know, constantly calling us, complaining about, you know, footsteps on her roof. And just the same, that's all the things that they were doing while I was living with her. Like, for an example, when I was living with my grandmother, she'll be telling me things like, I was smoking weed at the time. You know what I mean? I was smoking weed and she, what I'll do is I'll go in her backyard and that's where I'll, you know, like get my little chair you know, rope a blunt and smoke. So she would tell me, like, don't smoke back there no more because there's cameras on the light poles, on the utility poles, and stuff like that. And she also started to notice, and me as well, that, you know, we would go to church. You know, I grew up going to a Saturday Sabbath church. And what we would do is we would go to church and we will or just anywhere, really. Like when we leave and come back to the house, you know, they'll do stuff like, you know, rearrange dishes and pots on the stove and cups and stuff like that. It even got to the point where one time they broke the bathroom window, broke into the house to the bathroom window and ransacked the whole house from top to bottom. Every single drawer inside of that house, all the stuff that was in them on the floor scattered out. Ramsack the whole house. And we thought that, you see, we always had tenants, you know, tenants come and go. So we thought that it was a tenant who we kind of kicked out because, you know, for whatever reason, I forgot the reason why my grandma kicked her. I think she probably wasn't paying the rent, I mean, most likely. So we thought that she, you know, that was a retaliation for her being kicked out of the house, is what we thought. Back then, you gotta understand that I never knew what gang stalking was i never know what a target individual was so all i just know is that something was going on something wasn't right like even the footsteps on my roof i would think that you know it was like a small animal or something like that because when you're not when you don't know what a gang when you don't know what a target excuse me when you don't know what a target individual is and you don't know what gang stalking is and you're seeing all these tactics being done on you and you're seeing all these things that just don't look right and suspicious they have you thinking about other things because you don't know what gang stalking is so uh, you know footsteps on the roof i think it's a small animal you know what i mean but when i start to see things like you know 
stuff being rearranged in the house and then breaking in to my house and doing stuff like that then that's when you obviously know that something is not right and it's something definitely more than just coincidences happening all the time but yeah so when we moved out she was alone so what she did was she ended up first of all before i continue on let me tell you something my grandma had her house for 25 years she really loved that house every single free time every free time that she gets she puts it towards fixing up the house whether it's you know doing stuff in the garden doing stuff in the rooms the bathroom the front of her house you know her lawn and she's actually thinking about selling her house but I'm gonna pause that for a while, I'll get on that a little bit later. So, yeah, when we moved out now, she'll be constantly complaining that she's being harassed, you know what I mean? And she believes that something's gonna happen to her, she believes that people are out to get her, and she's being watched, she's being targeted. So because of this, what she did was, she fixed up the house to where she made another compartment of the house where someone can live. She can, you know, have another tenant. Remember, there's one in the garage and there's actually one in the house because she didn't want to be alone, which is smart. So, yeah, she ended up, you know, getting a tenant and he ended up dying. This is recently. He ended up dying in the house. She ever heard from him in a couple of days and then when she went back there, she saw, she saw his body stiffed out on the floor and she believes that his death, there's, there was more to his death, his death was suspicious, you know what I mean? She believes that something, there's something fishy about his death. I don't know if I exactly believe this. I mean, it could be a possibility. It's just not something that I, you know, immediately believe or fully believe, but I do see that being a possibility. But yeah, so she believes that, you know, there's something to his death. So because of that, I mean, that makes it even worse. She already didn't want to be in her house because of the targeting. Now that she has that in her mind that, you know, something happened to him. So she ended up moving to my aunt. So while she's at my aunt, she's not only talking to my aunt about these things. She's talking to the rest of the family. She's saying that she wants to sell her house. She don't even want to sleep there no more. So... You know, they've been telling, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's just a lot, man. They've been telling her, you know, don't sell your house. You don't want to lose your house to mental illness. You don't want to lose your house because your mind is playing tricks on you. Linda, please do not sell your house. You had your house for 25 years. We know that you love your house. Do not sell it. But while they're saying that, I'm the only one in the family who's really paying attention to what's going on. I know that my grandma's a target individual because when I was looking at her house, I saw that she was being targeted and I thought that it was me. I thought I was the only target individual there. My grandma's also a target individual. You know what I mean? I told you guys that there's many reasons on why they choose their targets. As for me and my grandmother, I know that I'm a perfectionist. That's one of the reasons. You can be targeted for more than one reason. You know what I mean? I explained to you guys that these people know your upbringing. They knew you before you were even born. They knew that you were going to be born before you were even born. I know this because of the fortune telling tactics that I get to this very day. You know what I mean? Just looking out the window, seeing these planes synchronized with you. You know what I mean? I got to find out that these people can fortune tell. So just how they can fortune tell with these tactics that they do on you now, they can know your upbringing. They knew before you were even born. So, you know, part of me do believe that you know, it's because I'm a chosen one or something like that. And also me being a perfectionist. And me being highly spiritual. You know, I, I told you guys I grew up in a Saturday Sabbath church. Me and my grandmother. I think my grandmother read the whole Bible. You know what I mean? And they don't like that. Obviously, it's an evil and godly program. So I'm pretty sure that they don't like Christians. But, um... Yeah, so I believe that that's why she, that's why we're both being targeted because we're highly spiritual people. And maybe 
few other things. Right now, you know, I just want to knock this video out and tell you guys the update on my grandma. This is how I will get back to you guys with more videos explaining to you the rest 